comic books, movies, TV, and more. Nerds are everywhere. It's time to assemble! It's Nerds United. Hello and welcome to a brand new Nerds United, a Jittery Monkey podcast and video at YouTube.com, JitteryMonkey.com, and all of your favorite podcast apps. I'm your host, Greg Mahochko, and joining me as always, the co-host of the year, Mr. Awesome himself, Mike Luther. Hello, Mike. Well, hello. How's it going? Going great. How are you, sir? Uh, Not too bad. I just recently found out that my uh, nephew, Eddie, and technically my sister, Beth, as well, listens to this as they are going to his coding class. So I say if Eddie is listening right now, uh, he should get some ice cream. Yep. All right, perfect. And so should, so, so should Beth. So now, nah, well, I mean, that's up to her. But you know, <laughs> that's if if Eddie lets her. <laughs> that's right. Um, you know, be as as uh, generous as you feel appropriate, Eddie. Exactly. We're not here to tell you how to. Anyway, moving on. Um, how's your week been, sir? Week's been fine. Um, I, I was I was in Belleville, your neck of the woods yesterday it was with the one of the um, snow came down yeah and with we got off early actually so yeah it was uh we did um we were there from about 7 45 to about noonish i think mm-hmm. or maybe a little after that maybe one i can't remember but yeah then they were like they they let us decide they said <laughs> um okay you can either stay here and we can continue on with what we're doing or you can go home and then was it unanimous couple- it wasn't unanimous, um, but there. Dumb? But it, it was. It's a good enough group to where they were like, if there's a couple people that want, because at first they were saying it has to be all or nothing. Mm-hmm. So everybody goes home, or or nobody goes home. And there are some of us, myself included, that live like thirty minutes away, and so what they, they I, I was like, I kind of, I'm, I'm voting to go home, you know, yeah. or you know, leave here, and. Another person who also lives in, in my town wanted the same, and then maybe there was like two or three other people, and then somebody's like, "Look, if if a couple people want to go home, we should all go home." So, left there, and they had not plowed the roads at all, and nope. had to drive about twenty five miles an hour for for that half hour drive, which took probably about forty five minutes. I so I dropped uh, Garrett off at school yesterday. And and went across the street, took care of business, took about an hour. Uh, and when I came out, I said, "Oh, it barely flurrying." Right. You know, this was nine o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. or just shy of nine o'clock. Uh, got home, made a work phone call. That didn't go great, uh, but they haven't been going great uh, lately, <laughs> admittedly, sadly. Uh, but then I I had to leave. I had to go down to Waterloo and then Valmire. You remember Valmire? Sounds really familiar. Valmire, the town that the Mississippi River um, flooded, I mean, like destroyed back in 1992 with the, the great flood. Okay. Uh, okay. The Mississippi River flood. Uh, and so they just moved the town like a mile or two back up the hill. Okay. All right. <laughs> and okay. It basically rebuilt everything. Um, so I, I'm getting down to Waterloo and I see, you know, it's sleeting uh, and their icicles starting to form like stop signs, street signs, and things right, like right. that. And I get out of there and it's still sleeping. It wasn't, I wasn't in there but 10, 15 minutes. And I start making my way to Valmire and still sleeping. Country roads that I'm not overly familiar with. So mm-hmm. I'm just taking it. I, I don't have to be anywhere until, uh, what was it? One? Yeah, I didn't have to be there to one. And I was well ahead of schedule. So got there, went to my appointment early, had a good visit, got out. And I, oh, there's a lot of snow. Like we hadn't been paying attention. We've been, we visit for a little o- over an hour and get outside. I'm like, huh, didn't expect all this snow. <laughs> Similarly, uh, I don't think I went more than 35 the entire way home. Yeah. Uh, and my wife, like, like they had full day of school, Garrett did. Um, but they had also daycare reached out, say, Hey, the roads are getting bad. And similarly, we like to go home. So if you can come pick up your kids. Yeah. Uh, so she made the trek there, probably got the twins about two 30. And then meanwhile, I'm in like Milstad. And uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with the Metro East area of Southern Illinois, 
none of this makes any sense to you. Just trust me that Mike knows what I'm talking about. It's true. And, <laughs> and she's on the way to get the twins. I said, well, I said, not to say it'll be a race because we're both going slow, but we'll see, you know, buzz me after you get the twins in and whoever's closer can go get Garrett. I was still so far back that it just made more sense for me to just go straight home. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but then we got home, had a chill rest of the day. And then I, uh, I actually shoveled her entire side of the drive before they got home. Um, okay, nice. So that was nice. And uh, cleared off the back deck today with the sunshine. It dried up in no time. Uh, but yeah, I hate winter. Let's Agreed. Let, let, let it be over. Let's, let's hope that this was the last hurrah of winter. Um, I, I know that next week we're again going to get um, in the 50s and 60s. Right. And then, it's gonna, then it's going to drop down to like 40s, but I can handle 40s. I don't this, like it, but I can handle it. It's the yo-yo effect, right? That makes everybody feel like crap because their body yes. doesn't know what to anticipate next. Yes. Which is why I might be sniffling during uh, uh, this episode. It's also why I have the farmer's hanky here. Okay. Uh, or, or well, yeah, we'll go farmers. I don't want to get shot. Um also has to do with the fact that Thursday I came home from work and I was just in a bad mood. And so I just gave myself a haircut. So, um, you know, all right. well, lost all my insulation up top. <laughs> do you normally was, give yourself a haircut? Uh, more than I go to the barber shop. Okay. Hey, I mean, you're saving money, so that's good. It, it was, gosh, how many years ago was it now? It's got to be a dozen years. I was in Walmart and I was like, look, I don't do anything fancy with my hair anyway. You know, like right. this is this is perfect because I'm low maintenance. I don't know if you know this about me, Mike. I'm pretty I, low maintenance. I could, I could see. Yeah. <laughs> and they had like some wall W A H L clippers yep. uh, that were, you know, not I mean, not on sale or on special, but they were just available for like 35 <laughs> bucks. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do that because if I go to the barbershop, it's 20 bucks just for the haircut. Oh, at least, yeah, yeah. You know, um, it used to be, and and it, it's twenty bucks now. When mm-hmm. we moved to Belva and I found the barber shop, it was like fifteen. But you know, yeah. price of everything's going up, Mike. And uh, yeah, you're yeah, average haircut. You're gonna lo- look at at least twenty dollars, and that's not including tip. Right. So this was free. Yeah. Um, and I had Garrett offered to help. Okay, nice. I didn't let him. He's helped in the past, but I didn't mm-hmm. let him this time. I was like, no, I, feel I, like just, he, I feel like he could help because I, I have a feeling that's just you have just a low guard on there it and is. you just buzz it all around. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. But I just he's like, can I help? I, and it was like I said, it's been it's been a rough couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And so it was more like therapeutic just for me yeah, to just go you. up there. Um, <laughs> I, I, I took the vacuum out of the pantry and, and uh, Ash was like, where are you going with that? I said, I'm going to go get myself a haircut. She's like, okay. So I just I like knelt down over the tub, you know, so our, our, the yeah. mess was all contained and I just clipped it, clipped it all. And at one point, one of the twins got through the gate. I shouldn't say got through the gate. Like he figured out the gate. He's just, yeah. you know how the, they're tension gates, right? So, you know, mm-hmm. you, if you unscrew them, you lose tension. The, right. the door, that's what he does. Rob. Oh, uh, smart. And I just hear him go down the hallway and he's like, daddy, what are you doing? And so I was, I, Pretty well done. So I texted Ashley. I said, uh, uh, if you got a minute, you've only got one of the twins down there. If Gary can watch them, can you come up here and just check the back of my head? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then take this one with you. So, right. Yeah. While, while uh, you're here. While you're here, just 86, that kid. Um, so, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. We, it was a good time. Well, all right. Perfect. Mike, have you finished reading anything this week? No, unfortunately. Have you started anything new? I started with Spider Man Shadow, and then I have the Knights of Steel mm-hmm. Volume Two. As you know, I haven't started that one yet because I still I'm still working on my Nightwing book. So once that's done, then I'll do the Knights of Steel. So I made a little bit more progress in that uh, X Men Origins Apocalypse. Okay, book. Um, not to the point where he looks like Apocalypse really yet, but a little bit more progress. And I did read these two uh, Gargoyles issues. And I'm not going to get into the like the specifics of it all, um, but I did find out at the end of each that the next issue, so this was 
uh, issue 11 of you know, like Gargoyles and then issue five of Gargoyles Dark Ages. Um, and so issues 12 and six respectively are the ends of these particular uh, runs. So I think they'll have some spinoffs and some some um, other tales, but these here that I'm reading right now, they will wrap up in the next issue. So. Nice. How many, issues, how, how many issues have there been so far of the gargoyles? I don't know if you knew. No, just these 11 and 5. 11 and 5? Okay, sweet. Nice. So, so next issues will be last issues. Um, okay. And I think I'm just going to... They're, they're fine, but you know me. I like my limited runs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes I have to just put a... Stop, stop on, on. yeah. <laughs> um, did you watch anything this week, Mike? Started. I started rewatching a little bit of the Marvels. Mm-hmm. Um, now you you saw it in theater, but you had I saw it in theater. It yeah, since, right. Yeah. yeah, but I hadn't seen it since. I I know you rewatched it, didn't you? Or not rewatched? You watched it for the first time, didn't you? Well, for the first time, yes. What What did you think of it? Um, might come as a surprise to you. It's your favorite. Uh, no, but I liked it more than I thought I would. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Um, you know, even the like the the musically, you know, sing song part, which out of context, I had no like explanation for or rationale behind it. Uh, when they get right. there, I'm like, okay, you know, it, it's it's fine. And then you know, if you're royalty, you can speak without singing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know. It, it, I had no, I didn't push back against that. Um, and th- this isn't a knock on, on any of the other stars, but really, um, Iman Vellani. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. Makes the, the whole presentation, you know, I, I thought that the fangirling, like her fangirling over yeah. Captain Marvel would grow old. Uh, but the way that they just, uh, a reluctant like Captain Marvel became like a reluctant acceptance of it, and um, uh, Monica Rambo, yeah, I can't remember. Sorry, uh, just kind of egged it on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That that was. I enjoyed the the. I don't know, like the playfulness, but I, I enjoyed the the chemistry uh, between the three, and I get the feeling that that's kind of how it would be in real life too. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and I, I just, if if there was any, I don't say knock, but any any Chris, like the the motivation for the villain is just very bland and uninspired. I don't even no. remember. The, I don't even remember the villain's name. Yeah. yeah. Um. And and the the whole premise being, we're going to go to all these other systems and we're going to take their resources to rebuild our our world and. Nobody ever once said Captain Marvel could probably just restart that sun, right? I mean, right, right. <laughs> you know, yeah, it took to the end when Earth's sun was, spoiler, being uh, threatened. But no, I mean, like I said, is it the best MCU movie? No, but it's still better than Eternals. Speaking of that, uh oh. So I don't know if you remember this or not, but when I watched it, you found a, um, a a site that talked about what m- different Marvel projects that are better than the Marvels or vice versa, whatever. So I'm going to name off these Marvel movies or TV shows. Okay. And you tell me whether or not. And I, by the way, I don't remember how I answered. So I don't no matter. <laughs> but you tell me if it's better than the Marvels or worse than the Marvels. All right. She-Hulk. Worse. Okay. So She-Hulk is worse, right? That's yeah. what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, I, um, but I'm, I'm assuming that it's you give me the title, I say mm-hmm. better than or worse than, and then the Marvels being the end of it. Okay, so the Incredible Hulk, the one with um, Edward Norton. I like it better. Yep, I do like that Hulk. Yeah, but... uh, Thor: The Dork World. Do you say the Dork World? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like that. <laughs> I really did not mean that though. <laughs> 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 it, did, it did come out like that, though. I did not mean it. The Dark World. <laughs> I, you know what? It's a Thor movie, and I, I'm a sucker for Thor, so I still say better than. Okay. I'm, Sorry. That's not. It's that's okay. You uh, defended. Thor, 
Thor, I, I, I would say Marvelous is better, but Thor, Love and Thunder. I feel like the villain had had more, not grand as Christian Bale, you know. So a lot of that's yeah. chalked up to the to the um, the actor, but better villain, better movie. I say Love and Thunder. Yeah, agreed. Um, Secret Invasion, Marvels, absolutely, or better than I'm sorry, better than yeah, yeah. or no, Marvel's I'm better. Yeah, yeah. I already know this one, Eternals. Uh, give me the Marvels. Yeah, make mine the marbles. <laughs> uh, Ant Man, Quantum Mania. The unfortunate part about that is, as much as I love Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly's great in just about everything she does, I don't remember that movie. So for recency bias, I'm gonna go with Marvels. That's fair. Um, and also Dark- they recast the kid, which seemed just out of left field. Yeah, Dark Phoenix. Did I give the? I think I gave the same list to you, didn't I? Yes, that's what I said. You gave, <laughs> yeah. Kudos to you for pulling that list up, or, or have you no. had it t- tabbed and ready to go for? No, the I just Google. I just googled it. It was quick. <laughs> um, again, I don't remember enough of Dark. I'm gonna say the Marvels. Yeah, I would agree with the Marvels as well. Um, Morbius. Morbius. Okay, sure. No, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marvels. Uh, and the last, certainly not least, but actually it's definitely least, uh, Fant Four Stick. That's tough because you have two really bad villains. <laughs> no, I'd say Marvels. Yeah, absolutely, it's Marvels. Okay, so so you have to choose. Okay, you have to choose to sit down and watch one. Okay, Fant Four Stick or Eternals. <laughs> Probably fan four stick. Probably fan four stick. Actually, I've tried. I've tried rewatching Marvels, mm-hmm. and I just I couldn't get through it. The, and again, the 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 problem with the, the Eternals is that it's such a beautiful movie to watch to to view. Yes. It's so pleasing to the eye. It's just that it's not a good movie. Yeah, you know, like visually, that might be it. Might be a top five visual MCU movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. But the story is god awful. Yeah. So I mean, we can still give it whatever flowers we can find for it, but ugh. I mean, I'm I'm fine if they take some of those characters and, and keep them in the MCU. I don't know which ones. I don't remember any of their names, but I'm sure there's some good ones. There's um. I know Kingo, Flippy. If there's uh, Dopey, Cersei. There's or, or Xer- Xerxes or there's Thena. There is Scooby Doo. Angelina Jolie. We've been yeah, watching a it. lot of Scooby Doo. She's in it. Yeah. There's Kit Harrington's character with the uh the big uh left open scene at the end. Yeah. There's the child who will never age, which is unfortunate because actors actually do age. <laughs> yeah. Like that's the mm. That's why that's why Simpsons is animated. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll have to figure out a way to, to write in the character in, in, if they ever make an Eternals movie. Say, like, no, no, they won't. They, they're not going to do another one. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. Um, you know, let's let's talk about uh, uh, Kit Harrington's character in that movie, shall we? OK, because I can't for the life of me. Remember who the the name of? Oh, okay, so Black Knight is the name of the character, and I just had to Google that because I have a bad memory because they didn't really address it. They just said, "Here's the sword, and it's imbued right. with generations of blah blah blah." There's a rumor scoaching around the interwebs that M- Marvel Studios is working on a Midnight Suns movie. Interesting. And uh, the I think if there's anything that provides a little bit of credibility to this report is that the filmmaker attached to it, a gentleman by the name of Michael, I'm probably going to mispronounce it, but I have a weird last name too, Giacchino or Giacchino uh, is attached to direct and he did Marvel's Werewolf by Night special for uh, Disney Plus here a couple years back. 
And you really liked Werewolf by Night. I loved it, yes. And I didn't dislike it. Mm-hmm. It's just my timing of it was it's 1030 at night. I'm going to sit down and watch this thing. And I did that consecutively for three nights before I finally <laughs> finished it because <laughs> I kept falling asleep. Um, but it's not an indictment on Werewolf by Night. That's a, that's an indictment on me. Um, but when you think of and we were talking about this before we start rolling sound, I'm not particularly familiar with the Midnight Suns. And you said, well, Greg, they made a Midnight Suns video game back in 2022. And I said, they did. How'd that do? And you said it was a steaming pile of cow dung. That's according to Wikipedia. <laughs> according to Wikipedia. Um, but the characters on the cover of Marvel's Midnight Suns, the video game, were uh, Wolverine and Ghost Rider and Blade and uh, others. There sure were some others. There were. Um, and, and look, I, I see it when I click the link and you go to midnight suns with a U, uh, S U N S dot two K.com. You see Dr. Strange. There's Spider-Man. Uh, there's a version of venom. That's kind of creepy looking. Uh, um, you know, I don't know. I've never been a big, Oh, here we go. Storm Morbius venom. Who looks else? like anybody can be part of that team. Maybe. Oh, I got to see if I can save this image because this is, this is peak. I hope this. I hope this uh, picture a, a, attaches. Come on, don't let me. Oh, never mind. I got let down. Just that quick. We can go from uh, being excited to not. But um, it true. was. It was a, a picture of De- uh, Deadpool, and oh, he's yeah. we- and he's wearing like a. Um, like a witch's hat that kind of looks like uh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice hat with the stars and the moons on it. Um, I'm, I'm a uh, what can I say? I'm a big nerd about dumb things. So I don't know. That, uh, anyway, moving on. Um, would you be interested in a Midnight Suns movie if it had like Ghost Rider and Blade and uh, uh, Moon Knight and apparently, according to this image, possibly Kit Harrington's The Black Knight? And the uh, the man thing. Would you be interested in a Midnight Suns movie? Yeah, I'd check it out for sure. I think I would too. I think maybe a series. Oh yeah, yeah. Would That's would be better, better suited where you can kind of slowly bring everybody in, mm-hmm. um, kind of like the Defenders, except good. Uh, yeah, and and a little better paced, and um, you know, I don't need I don't need a listers in my Marvel Midnight Suns uh, TV series um, or streaming series, however you want to categorize it. But it got us talking a little bit more. And I'm like, man, I, that grouping and that subject material, you know, it, it's, you've been uh, reading Once in Future. Yes, you know, yes. And, and I do. I like those mm-hmm. stories. You know, I, I like my capes and my cowls, but I also like more like off the beaten path. When I go into Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois, um, I'm not always looking straight at Marvel DC stuff. Um, you know, it's like, right. Hey, what's, what's out from image? What's new? That's how we come across die. And, you know, some, mm-hmm. some of the other great books that we've uh, been enjoying over the last couple of years. Midnight Suns is one that I, I seek out, um, because it's almost like justice league dark. Yes. Yes. Which That's, I know you're a huge fan of. Absolutely. Yeah. That's kind of another reason I would seek it out as well. If, whenever I go back and, and look at comics. I think the biggest, I don't know, a piece of, of comparison for you is you, you one of your favorite writers uh, wrote a lot of Justice League Dark, Jeff Lemire. Yes. And I don't know, we'd have to see who, who was attached to some of those Midnight Suns um, books or volumes. But Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, but I, I would still check them out, absolutely. I mean, that'd, be a, that'd be a fun one. It, we'll, we'll look into that when... Uh, you know, the tides turn and, and, uh, things are different. Yes. Um, all right, Mike. So we, we I feel like we're going to be talking a lot about Marvel tonight. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> uh, DC hasn't given us a ton. Uh, I mean, they're in rebuild phase and none of us have seen Aquaman, uh, thunder from down under. Uh, oh yeah. Which, might might have made a more marketable movie. I don't know. That is true, actually. <laughs> um, 
But let's get into some more Marvel goodies. Uh, and let's jump to a trailer. Not that trailer. But we did get a trailer for uh, X-Men 97. Uh, yes. This past week, Mike. It seems like it starts immediately after the other one ended. Right. Same cartoon style. I might have heard same voice cast. Not entirely. Not entirely? Um, okay. And, and the only reason I, I say that is, you know how there's like pieces of your childhood that are forever burned into your memory? Okay. Um, when I when I listen to the trailer, Wolverine's voice, I feel, is noticeably different. And so, well, who, well, who, let's look up who played his voice. I'm sure you did this already. Who I played didn't. His- you didn't? I didn't think to... <laughs> Oh. But I'll look it up right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying like since you like uh, you said it was different, so I didn't know. Oh, I'm so, gonna look it up right now for us. X Men the animated series. Tell you what, you look up X Men uh, ninety seven because I've already pulled <laughs> the animated series. <laughs> Sorry, am, am I being too bossy? Oh, I got you. X Men cast for ninety seven. I think it's ninety seven one. Uh, Wolverine is. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Cathal J Dodd. Are you, are you on for X Men ninety seven? Ninety seven, yeah, yeah, X Men ninety seven. Um, and let me so, let me verify let me verify that on um, IMDb actually because I was that's what I was gonna say. I'm, let me look up at the Google here, and I don't. So I don't. I, uh, the other ones might be different. I, I I have no idea. I I thought it was the same cast, but it, if it's not, that's fine because um, obviously it's a long time between. So some people, so of course, might have it, passed away. It does say. On IMDb, on Cal Dodd, it does Cal say Dodd. Wolverine. Yeah. yeah, man, it's just it. I, I guess that's what thirty years mm-hmm. can do. Oh, is that <laughs> is that for uh, ninety? Uh, not, I almost said ninety six, but that's not right. Um, no, so it, it's both. Oh, sweet, awesome, awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, and you're right because even under IMDb, it says alternative names: Cathal J. Dodd from okay. Ireland. Um, oh, nice. So, but it, it, it just sounds didn't sound well, quite right. I'll, well, but, it's been I mean, how many years between them? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, so voice boxes voice, change. Voice voice might change a little bit. Yeah, probably went through I, puberty in the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't really get a good look at who was all on. If there was a different cast on 97 now, I'm it looking is, forward to watching it though. So, as far as like the uh, the main cast. Like Cyclops. Like the characters. Beast. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what I have seen here is, yeah, Cyclops, Storm, Jean Grey, uh, Beast, Rogue, Gambit, Jubilee, Bishop. Looks like he may be more of a regular. I don't know if okay. I said Wolverine uh, or Jean Grey. Um, mm-hmm. Bishop and Storm got haircuts, which basically okay. means that I guess if you're if you're black, you get a different haircut. Okay. I don't know. Um, also looks like Morph is coming back in a more prominent role and Magneto as well. Maybe as a, is it uh, some, cause at the end of the trailer, Magneto even says, uh, I got news for you. You know, everything that was Charles is now mine or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I look forward to going back and rewatching some of the animated series. I have been. My and nice. Friend. How many, how many have you watched so far? Cause I think we joked, uh, or when I three a when day. I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, when I said that, I was like, yeah, if I knock out, uh, I had, I forgot that I was, um, uh, I had started it probably back when I first got Disney plus. Yeah. So yeah. I was, uh, a few episode head start. I think I'm on, I'm, I'm actually trying to pull up the episode list now, which my mouse is being as only my mouse can be kind of dumb. 76 episodes total. Yep. Uh, and I am in season one, but I am up to episode nine. Nice. Yeah, I might, so, I might check out some as well. Because they're they're quick episodes, aren't they? Are they like 30, 20, 23 minutes? Or are they longer? Yeah, tw- no, they're they're short. Short, okay. Yeah. Um, but what you get, you know, so episode nine uh, first aired Saturday, February 20th, which I look at today, and it's February 17th, uh, 1993. So we're, I was about 12 years old. I was not yet 11. Um, and, but this is uh, two episodes before the Days of Future Past 
episodes, which were big episodes in, in the whole, uh, you know, realm of things. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the cure introduces apocalypse. Um, so actually I take it back. I, I believe I might be on episode 10. I don't know. I was doing it while folding laundry. So that's, that's fine. Uh, and oh, and March 20th comes out. I knew it come out, came out soon. And, uh, per, the first season would be 10 episodes. And I don't know if they're really, I'm assuming they're not releasing it all at once, which I'm, I'm kind of fine with it with for X-Men. Cause you know, back in the X-Men animated series days, we had to watch them whatever, on Saturdays or whatever it was. That's right. Yeah. So it was, I'll, I'll be nostalgic in that sense. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. your willingness to, <laughs> you know, be just a little bit, um, a little bit patient. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it's gosh, dang, even just looking at the IMDb episodes list, so many memories come back, you know, like, Oh, there's Mojo. And, um, you know, good times. When then we get to ep- or season three with the Phoenix saga and that becomes madness. So the Shi'ar empire, I hope I- I'm, I'm very hopeful for X-Men 97. So yeah, oh, same, same. All right. Well, we got, uh, go ahead. I'm so sorry, sir. No, I was going to say, so what's, what's up next? Uh, up next, we have some Marvel casting news that was made official earlier this week. And that is the, Fantastic, not fan four stick, because they know that the four goes at the end. The fantastic four cast. Yeah, I I was kind of shocked that they they just put it out there. Not I thought it would be like a trailer or something. It's um I don't even know if anything's filmed to be honest with you. It was a photo, it was an Instagram picture. It's this Instagram or this this picture, I guess. Yeah, yes, um, and. Let's go left to right here. So uh, Ben Grimm, a.k.a. The Thing, is going to be played by, I'm probably going to mispronounce it, but I know that it's culturally appropriate, Iban Moss Bak- Bakrak? Yep. Bak- um, most, we know him from The Bear. Absolutely. And he's going to, uh, again, uh, Iban is... is um, Jewish, as is Ben Grimm. So, yes, you know, that first first Jewish per- person to play the thing. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there haven't been that many things, I guess. Well, True. three. So- Michael Chiklis. There was that other guy from Fan Four Stick, and then the uh, other Fantastic Four that nobody talks about. <laughs> Was that Richard Donner? I think. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be thing. Joseph Quinn. Is going to be your Human Torch, aka wasn't it Eddie from uh, Stranger Things? If so, I don't recall. Really, you don't? Well, you, you didn't watch Stranger Things, did you? I watched the first season and first couple episodes of season two. Okay, yeah, this is on season four, I think. Very beloved character on there, so I think I, th- I think he's going to do really good as um, Human Torch. Most excellent, and Vanessa Kirby. Uh, who's been in uh, several projects, but probably most recently, most notably, uh, the Mission Impossible, last couple of Mission Impossible movies, will be your Susan Storm. And I, I really liked her in the Mission Impossible movies. I, I don't know if we talked about it, but I did watch Dead Reckoning uh, here a couple of weeks ago. And that was very good. What are you doing? What if my head popped over on your side? <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> You mean like this? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that freaked me out. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, uh, the man himself who's going to be the, uh, I don't know, patriarch. That's not the right word. Anyway, Mr. Fantastic, Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. Yeah, this one was rumored for a long time. Um, there was, of course, other ones that were rumored. Of course, we had John Krasinski being rumored for it. And I mean, he did play in, um, a variant, I guess, of, of Reed Richards. And I, I had a feeling he wasn't going to be in it. Um, he was going to be the permanent one. Um, I remember Penn Badgley being rumored. There was a couple other ones. Um, but, yeah, so they picked Pedro Pascal. What Pascal. about Penn Gillette? 
Penn Jillette, sure, maybe he was he was one as well. But I'm 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 curious about how how he's going to be. I don't know. I th- I think he's a great actor. I would have never pictured him as Reed Richards at no. all. Um, if I had my choice, I, actually, I think if we had our choice, we would probably say Oscar Isaac. You know, that's that would be our choice for um, Reed Richards. But I'm we'll still go, I'm still the Camp Krasinski. We'll go we'll go with Pedro Pascal. And no, I know I look I I look forward to this. I don't even I they, actually they, they did have a date that it was coming out. You might have said it. And I maybe I wasn't paying attention, but it, it got moved. I I think Thunderbolts got moved up, and this got moved back. I want to say. I think so. The initial post from a few days ago with the cast said that this was going to be in theaters July 25th of 2025. Yep. I think that's even changed since I think they moved this up to May. Did they not? They could have, but it's going to be 2025. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, they, I don't even know if they, they might have started like principal photography or something, but I don't, they might have not even have started anything with the cast yet. I don't, I don't know. Nobody tells me anything. Well, that's true. They used to. Here. I used to be important. I'm looking forward to a great Fantastic Four movie. I might check out some Fantastic Four comic books before then, because why not? And I really, I think the best casting is going to be uh, Ebon um, as Ben Grimm. I really do. I'm just really he, curious to know. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say because he can play angry but very loving. Yeah. Yeah, you know? that's that's the thing too with uh, uh, cousin Richie from the mm-hmm. Bear. You yes. know, like he, there are times where he just he just pokes pokes him to death and and just is is an irritating son of a gun. Yeah, but at the same time, then you go a little bit deeper in, and you know, like he, or or the end of the episode, he comes you know, he apologizes and you just want to give the guy big hair, big hug. Right. So. Yes. So yeah, that's you know, um, and and gosh, I, I have not read a ton of Fantastic Four myself. Usually, it's in big events like, uh, um, uh, gosh darn, Civil War. You know, you yeah. get glimpses. I've got, I've got some uh, Fantastic Four from that were handed down to me. You know, so a little bit there, but yeah, you know, I, I just never knew like. It, Thing doesn't have like that Hulk type of rage. No, you know he's just a product of this freak scientific accident mm-hmm. that left him. You know, so I, I I think it'd be real good. I don't know what the rest of the cast or story is going to shape up. I'm 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 as interested at that first trailer mm. as anything that 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 I've seen in a long time. So yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we should be getting that trailer soon. Well, they haven't started filming, I don't think, have they? That's right. That's Marvel Marvel just throws a trailer out, you know? AI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be like, no, this no, is what we're, we're looking for. We're far we're far away from the first trailer. Well, we did, while well, we're still talking Marvel, mm-hmm. get a first trailer about a week ago. I don't know. It's like uh, uh there was a lot of pomp and circumstance, a lot of craziness, uh, all centered around the release of this trailer. Like there was football or something, uh, but there was a trailer for Deadpool. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Deadpool trailer and then talk about one, two, three other trailers. Well, you want to you want to you want to end with the other one? That is fine. That is fine. No, with it just me. seemed to flow because right. we were talking Dead, about Marvel and Deadpool, we, and we it, it just seemed to flow better. Like, okay, you know, no, I'm, so we're going to put a pin in Deadpool. No, nope, we're going to nope. We're putting a pin in Deadpool. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, So I saw a trailer yesterday that just, it was very misleading. Okay. um, Because at the beginning of it, I saw a mechanical hand rising out of the sand. And I thought, are we getting a new Transformers movie? And nay, nay. Not Transformers, but Godzilla V Kong or X Kong -Kong. or something like that. The new Empire. And uh, the mechanical hand is basically a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Prosthetic for King Kong. Yes. And you come to find out that the Titans, the the Godzillas of the world, have have protected nature, 
and the Kongs have protected humans. As we all know. As we all Yeah, that's the long history. You know, like, yeah. remember the original Kong who stole the blonde lady and took her up to Empire State? But that's protective, let me tell oh. you. For her own protection, yes. Yeah, because nothing says protecting like I may or may not drop you from three thousand feet in the air, or just accidentally squeeze you too hard. Oh, that could have been horrible. Um. So anyway, excited, very visually appealing. Uh, trailer, the second trailer that is for Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire, and we see we have what looks like a very angry monkey living in this alternate universe. In the Earth, I know I've said this before, but I need to go back and rewatch the other ones before I watch this. And also, it depends on my financial situation. I don't know if I'm going to watch this in the theaters or not. But what about this, Greg? Ooh, what about what if, we, what if we had a movie that was Godzilla X Kong X Megatron X Optimus Prime? Did I just make a multi-billion-dollar movie? I think you may have. Does it have to include Megatron? Well, who else do you want in there? Well, because I feel like this is a team up. Like Godzilla and in in this movie, Godzilla and Kong are going to team up. Look, they, if, they if they can Bowser team up, and Mario can team up to play golf together or race together or whatever, then Megatron can do it as well. You know? I just think it'd make more sense if it's like uh, a six man tag. Like okay. you have Kong, mm-hmm. Godzilla, mm-hmm. and um, Optimus Prime on this side, okay. and you okay. have Angry Red Monkey, uh, Megatron, okay. and I don't know Starscream or you know whoever else might fill that that role. It it looked, I you know, it has all the shape. If it's just Angry Red Monkey and Megatron versus the other three, it has a lot of the shapings of uh, Bash at the Beach, nineteen ninety six. It's true. You know, when when Kong's going to get carted out (laughs) and you're going to have somebody else walking down, strutting, and then he's going to drop a big leg on Optimus Prime and turn heel and and, uh, yeah, probably like Mecha Godzilla or something. The the best wrestling pay-per-view we've we've ever seen. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Book it. I was going to say book it, Vince, but we can't really do that anymore, can we? No, he's, he's doing something else. The problem is he was doing something else. Exactly. <sighs> Anywho. Cautionary tale. Cautionary tale. Allegedly, but cautionary tale. Godzilla King and Friends coming June 30th, 1973. Is that? Is that I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that year is correct. That's before we were born. It's true. Time travel. Time travel, baby. You know, we talked about it on Facebook. We talked about it in joke, but we never talked about the fact that I watched the Tom Cruise mummy movie. No, we did. Because you wanted you wanted me to watch it. And then I said, it's not on Hulu anymore. Oh, you yeah. are missing out. Well, I was I was going to to watch it, but it is it, even Hulu is like, nah, we're good. No, thanks. <laughs> I've been trying to go through um, all my my lists and and work through them and watch. I so I watched a movie earlier this week from 1994. Okay, starring Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins, mm-hmm. Aiden Quinn, yep. and the kid from ET, Legends of the Fall. Mm, that's what I was going to say. Yep. And you know what? I'll say this. It was horrible. I know. It was, it was, there must have been something like Brad Pitt must have fallen in love with Montana because he did A River Runs Through It, which was set in Montana in 92, Legends of the Fall, which is largely set in Montana in 94, uh, both period pieces. I, yeah, look at him now. You know what's funny is I seriously, when, when you said Brad Pitt and you said it was in the 90s, I seriously was thinking a river runs through it. I almost said that, but I, I didn't even know if really if, if that was a Brad Pitt movie. It, for some reason, that just popped in my head. It is. And I I was thinking about this because I knew I was going to mention Legends of the Fall. And I don't know, like Montana seems so appealing to me, like in the summertime. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, from, from whatever Montana summer looks like, which I think is from May to September. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing about Montana in the winter would be fun. I don't no. think for me. Um, but I don't know. Like, and I figure you would appreciate the fact that old man Greg would be like, "Yep, those old Model T Fords and that fly fishing and that uh, that peaceful life. Yep, give me that front porch uh, rocking chair and give me that old Piper cigar and uh, just sit there and whittle." I, I could put up some uh, uh, bird feeders and bird bass out there, and there's probably tons of birds there that would come. So, so many I would not mind at all. Let's go. That's all right. All right. We're moving to Montana. That's right. Just me and you. I, I probably better bring the family. Nah, well, you don't have to. I, I, I should probably at least talk <laughs> to them about it. <laughs> I also watched, speaking of not telling uh, significant others, um, uh, it's a. Written and directed by Seth Green, and it's the movie Changeland, and it okay. is on Hulu. It does have Macaulay Culkin in it. It does. Okay. And Randy Orton and Breckin Meyer. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, have you seen it, or do you just no? Know I, I have. I have not. Is it good? Um, the guy gets up. Uh, the guy, the Seth Green, um, he, the character again. He wrote and directed this. I think it was his directorial debut. Uh, he wakes up. And you see, he he's like packing for a trip, toothbrush, all that stuff, and he just takes off to the airport. I'm like, oh, you know, his wife's laying in bed. He's oh, probably had a work trip or something like that. Uh, no, you come to find out that he uh, found out that she's cheating, and he had booked this trip. This was supposed to be a romantic anniversary trip, mm-hmm. you know, for the two of them to Thailand. He booked like a year in advance, and he just left without her. Wow! Like okay. he 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 didn't even tell her about the trip. He was going to surprise her with it, and then all the 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 he found the, the text messages or whatever, and he just and that's when he invited Brecken, his okay. character, to go along to. It's it's good. It, and and Randy Orton in a surprisingly uh, insightful role. Uh, so uh, I would I would tell anybody check out Changeland. But yeah, that the only reason that came to mind is I was like I better tell the family. <laughs> I'm I'm going to Montana. By yourself? Yeah, probably, probably nice of you. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy who doesn't tell his family that he's going on a big trip. That's that's fair. That's fair. All right. What else we got? Well, we, we, we have more trailers. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You know? And we're talking, uh, we're going from one uh, ape to another bunch of apes. And that yeah, is good call. good call. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Of the world. Of the world, yeah. Of the of the universe of today, planet. Yeah. Wouldn't I'm not saying that they've squeezed enough juice out of this franchise. I don't know where we're going with this. I I've seen. I'm pretty sure I've seen all these like rebooted, yeah, uh, Planet of the Apes movies. I just don't know. Like we, the naming of the movies is is. I think the okay. biggest drawback for me. <laughs> Here's the thing: you have to have Planet of the Apes in there, right? So, do you? What do you go with? Kingdom, uh, Phylum. Ki- like, <laughs> you remember? You remember that one? Keep Kingdom, Phylum, Class, Order, Family, Genus, Species. Of course, that's I. I recite that every day. That's <laughs> that's, that's that's how I wake up in the morning. What about the quadratic formula? Yeah, is that way? Is it a squared? Plus no, that's the, that's the Pythagorean theorem. No, the theorem is Z R two two five dash seven p. No, what's the quadratic formula? Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. I that was that was more advanced than my math ever. <laughs> but no, we had I think we had the same geometry class. I didn't pay um, attention. And our teacher used to sing that, so I could even sing that little. Was well, who's the teacher? Oh, I don't remember her name. No, oh, the female? Year. Yeah. Oh. It was out in one of the temporary buildings. Okay. Sophomore year. Oh, unless you were smarter than me, you might have had a freshman year. Because I, I had I, Algebra 1 freshman year. I, I I had advanced math until I, I was too dumb for it, which didn't take long. I had, yeah, Algebra 1. No. Shit. Algebra 1, Geometry. Algebra 2, and then trig and pre-cal senior year. 
I, 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 what I, had, I think, yeah, I think it was Trigon Prequel, and I did not understand it at all, at all. I still don't. But I had a uh, dual credit college algebra in that Ooh, early nice. bird uh, last semester of high school, and got third in the class in that. Perfect. Well, uh, and then know, I got to leave an hour early. You know who else is very smart? Whoever uh, is in Planet of the Apes, which sure is coming out in some time. Look, I, I also I saw that I saw the three. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a trilogy because I, I saw was it Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and ba- War. War War of the Planet of the Apes. And I thought it was going to be a trilogy. I I, I think I, I they were in um, descending order of my liking them. You know, starting with Dawn, I think, or Rise. I don't know. It never made sense. But yeah, so I, I just thought it was a trilogy. So this one. It wasn't too much of a surprise. I heard her rumors about that they were making another one. And look, it seems fine. It seems visual, visually appealing. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's gonna. Be, it would be great to go to the movie theater and see it. Um, but I have a big screen TV, so I, right. I might wait. So yeah. the the abridged version, if if you will, about the um, synopsis. Many years after the reign of Caesar. A young ape goes on a journey that will lead him to question everything he's been taught about the past and make choices that will define a future for apes and humans alike. Of course. Admittedly, of all the trailers we have talked and will talk about, I haven't gotten around to watch that trailer yet. So, <laughs> Okay, okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's on the to-do list. It, it, is, it is hard to put. To figure out where where am I going to find these two minutes to watch a trailer, <laughs> you know? It's like ah, gosh, yeah. If, if only if oh. only there were twelve uh, or twelve twenty four hours and two minutes in the day. I know. <laughs> All right. Did you watch Twisters? I yeah, I saw it. It was on TV, wasn't it? Wasn't it during the Super Bowl? So I think. It, by the way, this is a super. They they did. They were very smart when they they did put these trailers on. Because they would put like a 15 second spot on and then go full trailer online now. Right. So that's so much smarter because you're not paying as much money. And I'm sure you can track views and stuff like that way faster on YouTube than you can yeah, anywhere else. And you can drive, you can drive the, I mean, cause you got to link traffic and yeah. I mean, I know. So obviously not here at nerds United on YouTube, but our coordination YouTube channel um, are like the one that I do them mm-hmm. like that that monetizes like they have enough subscribers and things like that you know they they monetize but you would imagine uh, the uh, universal um, pictures that that how mm-hmm. that houses twisters or any of these other trailers like they probably are getting something back from YouTube right like in that how oh, it works sure, yeah so I'm sure instead of putting two minutes on TV and paying ungodly amounts for that, putting 15 seconds on and says, go online, they're getting some of that money back. Probably in, in the instance of maybe twisters or the other trailer we'll talk about probably almost instantaneously. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so tw- twisters, um, I, I don't even know if it's technically, I guess technically a sequel or whatever. I don't know if it has much to do with the other one, besides the fact that there are twisters in it, but um, it, yeah, According to this, uh, it's an update of the 96 film, which centered on a pair of storm chasers who risked their lives in an attempt to test an experimental weather alert system. So I don't think I think it's almost a remake or re- I don't think it's a sequel. OK, remake. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. So David Corin Sweat, who's going to be our next Superman, is in Twisters, as well as Glenn Powell, who was in, uh, I believe, Top Gun Maverick. Um Anthony Ramos, who was in, among other things, uh, Hamilton, uh, is also in the movie. And other people are also in the movie. So, Maura Tierney, who I think was on Chicago Hope like 25 years ago. Should I go on? Is this, <laughs> is this exciting? It is super exciting. <laughs> Me guessing, like, I think. <laughs> yeah. Katie O'Brien, who I've never heard of. No, I'm kidding. I don't know if I have heard of that person, actually. No, don't think I've ever heard of that person. Okay. 
that's all I can tell you about Twisters. It's about tornadoes. All right. So before we talk about the last trailer, I just I saw something on Facebook that we should talk about. Is that something that you put on yesterday, actually? Oh, okay. Um, it was the the '80s movie thing. Yes. It was, it was. You can only pick three, and they they have a a lot of of '80s movies, and I'm going to very quickly name them all as quick as I can. Um, the Breakfast Club, Top Gun, The Outsiders, Tron, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Sixteen Candles, Rocky Four, Pretty in Pink, The Karate Kid, Nightmare on Elm Street, Teen Wolf. E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Empire Strikes Back, The Goonies, The Dark Crystal, Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Lost Boys, Gremlins, Sturdy Dancing, Short Circuit, Poltergeist, Stand By Me, The Fly, Raj, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Heather's Coming to America, The Evil Dead, Purple Rain, Child's Play, Weird Science, Blade Runner, Lean on Me, Big, Beetlejuice, The Never Ending Story, and Mask. So Did you say Flashdance? Uh, if it's on there, I did. Yes, uh, yeah, Flashdance. Okay. Um, so if, so obviously it's, you can only pick three of these and we mm-hmm. had some people comment, um, starting from the bottom, we had Jason Torbeck said he wanted, uh, Top Gun. <clears throat> Jaren. Jaren. Oh, Jaren. Torbeck. I'm sorry. Jaren, I, I apologize. You, you, uh, you have the wrong name. I apologize. It is supposed <laughs> to be Jason. Uh, your, uh, mom or dad, whoever did that, they messed up on your name. I apologize. Um, his you, mother you is a it. saint. You've had, oh, I'm sure they're great people, but they, they, they accidentally wrote it wrong and then they didn't want to correct it. And they said, you know what? It's going to be Jaren from now on. So you've had, you've had to live with that, Jaren. And I apologize. Uh, but Jaren, do you, do you start calling him Jared now? Jaren, no, I said Jared. I said Jaren. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, he has, we actually had people comment. Let's not insult them. Let's see. He has <laughs> Top Gun, Rocky Four, and 16 Candles. Mm hmm. Then we have Tim Waters from, I believe, Twilight Comics in Swansea, Swansea, Illinois, I believe. He says Empire Strikes Back, Indiana Jones, and Ghostbusters. And he said Top Gun just missed the cut. Understandable. Uh, Greg from Nerds United said Empire, Back to the Future, and Goonies. And then Heather says Beetlejuice, Dirty Dancing, and the Goonies. And you know what I say? I was waiting for Mike's Mike's input. I've been on on Pins and Needles. Ghostbusters, Teen Wolf, and Back to the Future. Ghostbusters, Teen Wolf, Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. I, you know what? Ghostbusters was right outside of, of uh, the. I mean, they, look, eighties were such a great. Right, let's let's go down the list, or, or let's just go through the list. Uh, tell me if you've seen it and if you'd watch it again. Okay, The Breakfast Club. Um, have not seen it. Really? Yep. You want to borrow sometime? I'm sure it's on a streaming service somewhere, but Maybe. yeah. Okay. Top Gun? Yes. Seen it, would see it again. The Outsiders? Seen it, would see it again. Did, I saw, it in, we, saw it in school. Seventh grade? Yep. I was there. In fact, I just moved there, so I didn't have to read the book. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I seen it. I don't know if I'd watch it again, if I'm being perfectly honest. Tron? Never seen it. Okay. It's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Ghostbusters. It's seen it. Would see it again. I have seen it again, actually. Right. Back to the Future. It, yep, absolutely. Sixteen Candles. Never seen it. Same. Rocky Four. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it. That's the one where he fights the Russian. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. <gasps> yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I think honestly, the only I've seen. I think I've seen one full Rocky movie, and it was uh, Rocky Balboa. Like, yeah. I've seen enough clips of the other ones, though. So, but would I watch it? Pro- probably. Okay. All yeah. Right. Pretty in Pink. Never seen it. Same. The Karate Kid. Seen it. Would see it again. Nightmare on Elm Street. Never seen it. Never seen it. Teen Wolf. Seen it. Would see it again. Yes. E.T. Seen it. Would see it again. In fact, I think I think I have seen it again within the last several years. I couldn't tell the last time I saw E.T. I've seen it a couple times. <coughs> Give me. A- for me, I mean, it's there. I, I don't. I'm not saying it's overrated. I'm saying it's subjective, and it's it's not for me. That's fine. Empire, I feel like we know the answer to that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Goonies, seen it. Would probably see it again. What about the Dark Crystal? Never seen it. I feel like I've tried turning it on, and I just I can't. Get, get okay. This. Uh, Raiders. See, uh, actually, I don't think I've seen it. Honestly, oh. I. I, I think it, I forgot who I was talking to this uh, Corey or Ball or somebody, um, but we have not seen any of the Indiana Jones like fully. 
but I would watch it. Okay. Yeah. It's it's out there. Yeah. Uh, Lost Boys. Never seen it. I have uh, mm-hmm. multiple times. I actually have it on DVD somewhere. Uh, what about Gremlins? Seen it? Saw it? Seen it recently? Actually, uh, well, cr- around Christmas time. Actually, it in some categories it falls. Yeah, under Christmas. Week. Yeah. Um, I probably haven't seen Gremlins in thirty years or more. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Dirty Dancing. Seen it? Wouldn't probably wouldn't see it again. I I my, I, I saw it too many times uh, when I was younger. My sister made me watch it. I was gonna say that's the 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 pitfalls of having older sister. <laughs> Yeah. Although I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, I know the high points. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Right. And I've had the time of my life. Yeah. Uh, short circuit. Seen it. Would see it again. Feel like there's a certain character that's a little controversial. <laughs> I think they, I would be, I would be cool with them. Re- that's one of the, they could reboot and just be like, not, you know, not have that character. Right. Move, move aside from that one. Yeah. Uh, what about Poltergeist? Never seen it. The same. Uh, Stand by me. Never seen it. Oh, I'll have to get that DVD to you. Okay. Uh, what about Coming to America? Seen it. Would probably check it out again. I've seen it a couple of times. It's 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 fun. And yeah. then you know I think Prime did the Coming to America the sequel yes. here a couple of years ago. Yes. What about Heather's? Never seen it. Same. Uh, who from Roger Rabbit? Seen it. We might check it out again. I've seen. It. We 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 watch it once every couple of years around here. Yeah. I mean, it's you know it, it's got the adult aspect certainly. Mm-hmm. But if I tell the boys it's got Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny, right? Then you know we're yeah there yeah there. Uh, the Fly with Jeff Goldblum. Never saw it. Um, not all the way through. I've seen yeah. bits and pieces. What about the Evil Dead? Never saw it. I have, and I probably wouldn't watch it again. Again, yeah, I'm not a big horror guy. That yeah, was same. that was when Sam Raimi. I mean, Bruce Campbell's in it. Mm-hmm. They th- this was before they went a little, like Evil Dead Two uh, is more like getting wacky, whimsical, and right, then of yeah. course Army of Darkness is is hilarious. Yeah. Um, but Evil Dead was they were trying to do like straight horror. Sure, it was yeah. low budget, so you know. Anyway, what about Purple Rain, the Prince never, movie? Never saw it. Same nope. child's play. I, I I may have seen bits and pieces of it. I don't think I've seen it all the way through. Don't care yeah. to. Same again. I'm just not. I, oh, and I know they have a they have a, a, they had a couple child's play like TV shows as well. I think. Right. So. Um. What about Blade Runner? Never saw it. I have it. Not. Not recently. It's probably been almost twenty years. But I you know rented it or something like that from a video store once. Uh, Lean on me. Never saw it. I'm trying to remember. I know the song. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. Know. I'm also. I'm very curious what uh, um, fellow hosts. We're going to call them uh, Chad Smart and uh, Kevin Huntsberg. Think of this list. Like, I'm sure they've uh, seen a lot more. Which ones would they see again? Which ones? How? Which ones have they seen the most? You know, just throwing that out there for them in case you ever, yeah. you ever hear this. That's uh, I might have to get that in their uh, in their hands for a future my one two three cents uh, sidebar. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Weird science. I see. Maybe seen bits of it. Oh, I've seen this a couple times. Okay. Weird okay. science. Let me tell you, Kelly LeBrock mm-hmm. did. I'm, just, I'm say this diplomatically. Let me just say. In the eighties, I'm not trying to in, insult a woman. Now it, it's been forty years, and everything changes. But in this movie, she's smoke show, and for a lot of it, she's not wearing a lot of clothes. So when I was watching this in the nineties, like on you know late night cable or something, mm-hmm. this was, I you know, I under, under, understood understood. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't have to get any further than that. Flash yeah. dance. Never saw it. I not seen it. I've actually queued it uh, on one of the many streaming services just to like you, you know. Anyway, uh, big, big. Yeah, saw it. Would probably see it again. I think I have seen it a couple more than once. Mm-hmm. Beetlejuice. Saw it. Would would see it again. There's Same. a Beetlejuice two coming out. 
Correct. And the never ending story. Never saw it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't want to start it if it's not going to end. I would, I would still be watching it now. So, <laughs> so you don't know about Falcor? No, I mean I know or like I know, you. I know I know those names. Isn't Falcor the big dog, flying dog? Uh, he's a luck dragon or luck dragon, sure. And then there's a, some. Ooh, is this, is that the one where the horse uh, gets in the swamp of sadness, whatever? Yeah, yeah. And then a Treyu is the person. That you the know. band is named after, <laughs> or or the or the person is named after the band. Either one. And that's not how it works. And in, in the band time, didn't come along like twenty years later. Time travel. Yeah, maybe. Uh, last but not least, mask. Not the mask mm-hmm. with Jim Carrey, but mask with Cher. I did not see that. Yeah, same. Okay. So uh, right. that was fun going down that little trip down memory lane, and me, I I, I can at least say that. I've seen all the movies that I would want to see off this list. Yeah, same. And I'm surprised by some of the movies you haven't seen. Like so, Neverending Story and uh, Raiders. And Raider, and you know what? I know for a fact that both of those are on Disney+. Plus. Okay, I might and, check them out then. And let's see. Stand By Me is on Netflix. Okay. And what's the other one that, that you said you hadn't watched that I was like, oh. Tron? Weird okay, Science. Cool. Weird Science, yeah. Um, and Tron's on Disney Plus as well, as well as Tron Legacy. And they're making a third Tron movie. Are you aware of that? Nothing about Tron appealed to me. Well, I just I, I think that that's... But it's cool. You know? The new movie's going to have Cameron Monaghan and Ooh, Evan okay, Peters okay. and Jared right. Leto. Well, crazy, crazy guys. And there's a Tron um, roller coaster at Disney World. It's called uh, the, 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 the Tron, like light cycles. Um, I'll say this: the original Tron movie, they tried to do a lot of things visually that were very new. Yes, um, and it's a very, I'll say, unique movie. It's not bad, um, but it all takes you got to kind of go into it. I mean, if you. You learn very quickly, but I'll tell you now that it pretty well takes place in like a video game or a computer right, system. Right. Um, and then that's where Tron Legacy picks up. Anyway, since you can't go, unfortunately, watch The Mummy, which I don't know. I, I think I'm going to find a, a spot where you can try to track that one down. Um, but anyway, you should find some time in the next week to watch Tron and then Tron Legacy. It's gonna be at the bottom of my list. I, I I'll watch Stand by Me before that. I'll watch yeah. Never Ending Story before Indigen. that. I'll rewatch other things before that. Oh, The Breakfast Club was the other one. Breakfast Club. I'll. That's that's slightly above uh, Tron. I'll tell you what. Breakfast Club has one of my my favorite bits of dialogue in any movie across time and space. Um, the the whole concept of Breakfast Club is that these five or six kids are in detention on a Saturday. They've got to spend a whole Saturday. The principal is there uh, or principal or Dean or whatever, you know, his, his title is. And he doesn't like this one kid, John Bender. Um, and Bender's a regular detentionee. Um, and so he, he, they prop the door open uh, cause he wants to be able to look in the library where all the kids are. And Bender goes up uh, any, undoes the screw so that the door can't stay open and the principal comes over here and he's like why is that door closed i don't know did you touch it i didn't touch it nobody touched it um and and one of the others was like i think maybe a screw fell out or something and he's like what'd you do and and uh the principal says this to bender uh and he says uh he, he one of my favorite lines he's like screws fall out all the time the world's an imperfect place <laughs> I'm going to find that uh, because I don't do it justice being one guy. I'm going to find that clip and send it to you for your uh, Saturday evening enjoyment. But, uh, yeah, it's good going down that. uh, Oh, you know what we should probably talk about? The Deadpool trailer. That's what I've kept trying to lead into it. But all right. Uh, Yes, Super Bowl. Well, one of the first trailers, I think. In fact, I was still at the gym when the trailer came on. Or at least like, like I like I mentioned before, it was 
I don't even think they showed much. They just said a Deadpool or uh, do Deadpool trailer uh, online now. Right. And so, and so we like watched it. It's called originally from what I've heard, it was supposed to be called Deadpool and friend, but they changed it to Deadpool Wolverine, which is obviously very cool. Uh, this was the most, it had the most views in a 24 hour period than any other movie trailer has. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. So that's, that should show how, you know, how good this one is going to be. Now we saw some characters uh, come back. We, I believe with, without looking up, I believe we saw Shatterstar, of, co- of course, um, uh, uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, I think her friend was, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's close enough. Blind Al, we had, but so anyway, they, they all had, um, uh, they were celebrating uh, Deadpool's birthday, or technically, I guess, Wade, Wade Wilson's birthday. And then, of course, the TVA stops in, which I had heard rumors that the TVA was going to be a big part of this. Mm-hmm. And possibly, um, what is Owen Wilson's character? Mo- Mo- Mobius? Mobius, not Morbius. Mobius. I'll, I'll, I'll say, my head's going Morbius. I'm like, that's not there it. There can be only one. <laughs> yeah, Mobius. I, I heard a rumor that he's going to be in it, but who, who knows? He wasn't in the trailer. And then we get they brought a, back Peter. Peter the, was the, in there. The human from yeah. Deadpool Two. What else? What else did we get? Uh, you said a lot of them. Oh, you mean just like oh, from the party or? Yeah, I don't know. Trailer in the trailer. What, what did you think about the trailer? Oh, I, I thought the trailer was awesome. I, I man, they're I don't want to say like deep cuts, but they're going. And bringing back some people from the, like the original X Men movies that I didn't anticipate, like uh, for example, Aaron Stanford's coming back as Pyro. Yeah, and I didn't. Re- I didn't recognize him at first, actually. No, no. I mean, he, gosh, it's been twenty years almost since since he suited up, and it's in a more comic accurate suit now. It's not just black leather, or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't. It's just you know, it. Uh, they, you know, they go into the TVA and they're looking at the screen and he's basically seeing like all the worlds, like all the Marvel worlds, you know? And so you see Thor and Captain America and, and all the, all the characters of the MCU that we've come to love. And I mean, that's one thing we didn't really talk about in at the end of the Marvels is, you know, the revelation that if, Photon? Yeah. Is in the old Fox world, you know, with Beast, you know. Right. Um, or at least a variant of her. Is. Sure. That's fair. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm obviously very excited about it. And I feel like there's going to be, you know, more to come. And I like that we didn't get the full Wolvie reveal. No, I honestly, I thought we were going to because we've seen enough. I mean, I mean yeah, we've seen, seen the suit, you know, and 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 um, I mean, gosh, it's right there in the in the cover of the trailer, like the yeah. the feature photo, I guess, um, is a picture of the two of them, you know, red and on one and yellow on the other. So it's, you know, it it's just highly anticipated, but to not see him pop those claws in person like we saw the shadow right it it's it's kind of again i don't need everything all at once yeah well they're gonna obviously there's gonna be another trailer at least at least one more um i think in that second trailer that's when you'll get uh you know the very stoic or very uh stern wolverine and the wise cracking deadpool going back and forth with each other sure you know uh wolverine getting very frustrated and and deadpool trying to make him laugh and i wonder if uh in the course of the movie at all it will be i don't say like uh, mentioned by deadpool to wolverine about Killing off that other Wade Wilson, <laughs> right, right, yeah, That's, yeah. Because yeah. uh, again, it's that it's that type of character, like, mm-hmm. the, like not kill this variant of yours, you know, type yeah. of thing. Um, so I don't know I know they're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Yep. So, um, according to IMDb, you know, I know you mentioned, uh, you know, Shatterstar, Blind Al, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, um, Mister Paradox, 
uh, is going to be, I don't know who Mr. Paradox is, but Vanessa's back. Uh, there, IMDb has Electra, has Patrick yeah. Stewart listed, um, mm-hmm. has uh, obviously the guy who plays uh, Dopinder, Stefan Kepichik, Kep- who was in Cape Girardeau not terribly long ago for Cape Con, uh, which is pretty cool. I didn't go. Um, I don't have time. Uh, let's see who. Um, I don't think we, who's it. TJ Miller. He he's done with the franchise, right? Like, yeah, didn't yeah, they have yeah. a? He and Ryan had a not so yeah. mutual falling out. Yeah, I don't know yeah. the specifics of it, but yeah, he's done. I, I, it'd be interesting to see who all. I mean, look if they're bringing in Electra, they could the or maybe not bringing in. Um, but if Electra's in it, theoretically, couldn't we get Ben Affleck's Daredevil in it? There, there could be a ton of people coming in. Yeah, that's the beauty you know? of it when you're when you're jumping universe to universe like mm-hmm. this, you know. Um, and 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 the various uh, it sounds redundant if I say various variants. <laughs> say that ten times fast. <laughs> I mean, don't you know that's that's unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know no, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be I think peak Ryan Reynolds. And I, I, there was a one line and I went back and, and when I, second time I, cause I didn't catch the line exactly the first time around, but next time I, I saw the trailer, it's, you know, that first time that, you know, Wade is the birthday party is interrupted by the TV a, agents and they go out and they flash their like shock stick or whatever. He's like, it wouldn't be my first time pegging, <laughs> right. but it would be Disney's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or like it wouldn't be mine, but it would be for Disney or something yeah. like that, you know. So again, just a little like, yeah, I think you know, kudos to the studio for letting this thing go, like it looks like it's gonna, you know, yes. balls to the wall. Yes. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had their balls stapled to the wall. In this That's movie. true. Yeah. So, Mike, I have a couple more topics, but I want to save them for next week because. We're already over an hour, and we did want to finish up with Deadpool. Yep. Um, Sounds good to me. Is Deadpool the most anticipated movie for you yeah, this year? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's really no competition, is there? Yeah. Yeah. No, not at all. Um, Madam Web was in theaters earlier this week. I have not heard one good thing about that. Not one. And usually, even if it's a bad movie, somebody will be like, you know, I, I didn't like it. it. But it's you know it's fine that they, that from what I've heard it is horrible. And there, I heard something that like they're going to try to do Madam Web two. So like, Sony, yeah. I, Sony has no clue what they're doing. They, you, they could have just ima- imagine of if starting back when it was Venom, if they said, look, <laughs> we're going to completely forget about this Tom Holland Spider Man. We're going to make money off of him. Because he's technically ours, so we're making money off of him. We're going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars off of him. But you know what? We're going to do a Spider Gwen, and that's, that's going to be our take. Exactly. And then and then they could they they have Venom. They can have Carnage. They can have they can have every everything that they could would want. You know, and and, and Craven the Hunter, Morbius. One, they hire good writers. Um, First of all, don't go putting. Morbius in with this Madam yeah. Web abomination. All right, I, I think I think Madam Web might be worse than Morbius. I think I think we'll the the dollars at the end of the day. Yeah, the the, the problem that I have is not with a bad movie, but it's the like who gets blamed for the bad movie. You know, like nobody yeah. in the studio or in the creative team is going to take any uh, of the responsibility and say. Yeah, we really just missed the ball on that one. It's gonna be like those white men, yeah. they were not ready for this all female spider yeah. team. Oh, yeah. And and that's not the case. Like, again, I went in there. Marvel's was on Disney Plus for almost two full weeks. I'd have to, have to go back and check exactly when it dropped, but it was on there for like I was like, oh, you know, I've been dying. To, I just couldn't get to the theater. But as soon boom, as soon as midnight hits, like it wasn't like that for me. And I I came out of it pleasantly surprised oh yeah you know um but i just don't know first of all i'm not a huge dakota johnson fan fair i don't know anybody that really is um but again that's just me there's it's unfortunate because there are other actors 
I, don't, I, I guess they're all just kind of called actors now. I don't think you're allowed to call them actresses. But anyway, there are other performers in that movie who, you know, might feel a little bit of a suffer uh, because they're attached to what is ultimately a failed project. Yeah. And it's it's failed because nobody's using any common sense. And it's been like this, like you said, since Venom. Yeah. Since they decided after Amazing Spider-Man 2, you know, when they, they were going to do a Sinister Six movie. Yeah. And they abandoned it. You can't do a Spider-Verse without Spider-Man or, you know, Spider-Gwen or, you know, as as I've learned through the last four or five weeks of watching Spidey and Friends on repeat mm-hmm. on Disney Plus with my kids. It's Ghost Spider. Okay. Yeah, that is true. Yes. Yes. And they, they also refer to Miles Morales in that as spin. And I just feel like that's no, that's wrong. He's yeah. just Spider Man. <laughs> but imagine imagine if 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 Sony did that. If Sony said, Yeah, you know what? We're intru- introducing Miles Morales. He's yeah. gonna be our Spider Man. I think the only reason they wouldn't do that, and maybe that's why they didn't do Gwen, is because of the actual success of Into the Spider Verse. You know, and like just, and I re I learned that Superman and Lois got canceled after his fourth season. It's going to be his last season on CW yeah. because Warner Brothers doesn't want there to be any market confusion between TV Spider Man and or Superman. I'm sorry, and and movie Superman. That's dumb. I just read that today. I believe you. It's still yeah. dumb. Oh, I don't disagree. Um, so maybe that's why Sony's like, oh gosh, we can't, we can't use Peter Parker because Tom Holland over there with, uh, MCU and we better not use, uh, Miles or Gwen because they're in the successful project. So we're just going to not have Spider-Man at all. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. All right. Anywho, let's get out of here. Yeah. The old nose is running and, uh, Time to time to medicate and go to bed. Sounds so, good. Mike it is always great to see you, sir. I will dig up some '80s DVDs and bring them to your place so that you can be properly uh, prepared for next week. And there's going to be a quiz attached. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. There's not going to be a quiz because who's got that kind of time? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if you'll have time to. Watch you, don't these. Have time for, you don't have time for a trailer. Time for a, put a quiz together. I'll watch it as when I'm waiting for the dog to go outside. You know, or, uh, watch, the dog watch, outside. watch it while you're, you know, going outside, if you know what I mean. Pooping? Yeah. I already did that today. Okay, well, that was your How many yeah, times do you poop today? Six, seven, somewhere around there. That's why you're in such good shape. No, no that'd be horrible. <laughs> no. All right, take us out. All right, that is it for this episode of Nerds United. God, we appreciate that you've made it this far. Um, And uh, we're going to throw a surprise at you maybe in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Mike doesn't know about it. He's looking very surprised himself because I haven't talked to him about it. We're going to talk about it in one of our many uh, post or pre-production meetings, and we'll uh, we'll pin down something fun for you uh, listeners slash viewers in the not-too-distant future. So for the co-host of the year, this guy, nope, there it is. This guy right here. High five. Nope. <laughs> Over the Come co-host on. of the year, Mike Luther. I'm Greg Mahachko. This is Nerd United, a jittery monkey podcast and YouTube show. And uh, we'll catch you next time. But until then, be kind. And Greg didn't realize I didn't shave my beard. Or I, I shaved did. my beard already. Anybody didn't say anything. Rewind. It looks very fantastic, Mike. Was your face as cold as my head? Yeah. (laughs) This is a production of the Jittery Monkey Podcast Network. For more jittery shenanigans, go to jitterymonkey.com. 